morning, guys. Um, oh, sorry about the fan. I usually don't start the video right away because I want to make sure my car is nice and warm so I can turn my fan off when I start talking to you guys. Um, anyways, so good morning. It is Friday. Yay! If you work, if you sell full time, you don't care if it's Friday. If you're like me and you work during the day, you care a lot if it's Friday. So, happy Friday. Um, just a quick update on how I'm doing. Today is also January 20th. I think I may have screwed up the dates on some of my videos where I, because I'm like three days behind on uploading. So, um, I think I just uploaded a video and I dated it wrong. So I apologize for any confusion. I will try to make sure I get everything uploaded the same day it's taken. The problem is, my, when I use YouTube Capture, it keeps timing out, and I I don't know if it's because my phone goes into sleep mode. Maybe I need to keep it on so it doesn't go into sleep mode when I'm uploading. Um, but it wasn't in sleep mode earlier, and it's still paused. So I don't know if that's because we went on to, we went off of a wireless network, or if it's just because it took too long. But it's really starting to irritate me, so I might have to start editing videos, which means, um, I don't know yet. I don't know if I have the time for that, so I might just have to figure out a way to make YouTube capture stop timing out. Anyways, there's a new one. It's, it's uploading. Should be done shortly after I get to work once I get it started again I think there were only like six minutes left to upload and it that was I thought it was yesterday's video but who knows my dates are all screwed up so <laughs> I promise I'll try to get better okay um, try is the key word but as Yoda says do not try do um, so anyways is the roads you know of all the days that I rode to, drove to work today, this week, with crappy roads, today they are the worst. And I think it's because it's been raining. And the temperature, my car says it's 34. So it's like hovering right around freezing. And I don't think the plows or the, the counties realized that it was supposed to get like this. So nobody's out salting. And so there's like slippery spots where the cars aren't driving. And it's mostly on, I'll probably hit some on 441 where I'll be like, oh crap. But, um, 41's been okay. I'm only going 65, speed limit's 70. Yeah, I'm pissing off some people, but hey, I'm getting there safe and it's not like I'm holding up a ton of traffic. Traffic on the left is going just fine. So anyways, uh, yesterday, eBay sales, I think they were about $38.71. I might be off a couple of cents, plus or minus. Don't hold me to that, but I know it was at least $38. So that was two sales. That was some Adidas sandals that I have. I've had those for a year and a half, and I originally listed them in. So not, not quite a year and a half, because they aren't, I didn't get the 16 month warning on them yet. Um, but I've had them listed. Really, why are you turning off your lights? Where do you think I'm going to go? Ugh, people piss me off. I'm in the right lane. So yeah, turn off your lights so you put everyone else in danger. Anyways. Um... So I finally sold a pair of those flip-flops. And they are, they are really comfortable. So if you are looking for some comfy flip-flops, um, visit the Software Castle and look up Adidas Volumix. They are um, girl sizes. However, I do have some men's sizes that I'm gonna get listed pretty soon. Um, I might cross-list those on Amazon as well because I have sold those pretty well on Amazon as FBA in the past. And I 
still trying to figure out how I'm going to work the whole FBA thing or what I'm going to FBA and what I'm going to merchant fulfill or if I'm going to do FBA anymore. I have about 298, I'm below two, 300, yay. I have about 298 items that will incur long-term storage fees come February 15th. I did a massive markdown not too long ago. Um, okay, we gotta move over. And some of that stuff has been moving, some of it is still sitting. You know, and the clothes and stuff, those will, you know, I'll pay 50 cents to keep those at the warehouse. I'm okay with that. It's the bigger stuff that I'll call back or decide to dispose of, you know, books and, I don't know, I, I gotta look and see what's there yet and what's gonna cost me a ton of money. I think my highest long-term storage fee for one item, which may be a quantity, was like $24.98. I think that was a pair of shoes in the box. So those I'm definitely going to call back, get them listed on eBay or list them merchant fulfilled. Um, and some other items like that. And then, um, so anyways, those flip flops, they are so comfy. I've got a pair of Nike ones that are very similar. I wear them as slippers around the house because I don't know if I had a heel spur. At one point in time, my heels were getting all like tingly and starting to hurt when I would stand on them and everything. And then my back would start hurting when I'm cooking or doing the dishes or something. Um, I wear these things around the house and they are, it's like perfect. So at some point I'll need a new pair. If my Adidas ones are still in the store, I'll probably yank those out of inventory and wear those for myself instead. Um, for right now, they're listed. I think I've got like, I know I have a size 10 and a size nine still listed. Um, ooh, that guy slowed down a lot. So anyways, babble, babble. So that's one thing I sold. I shipped out the blanket I sold. Technically that was in my prior day sales. Um, but they didn't pay me till yesterday. And what else did they, what else did I sell? Oh, I know what I sold. I sold a pair of Kennedy's, um, how did I get $38 in sales? Huh. Did I have somebody not pay? I, I sold Kennedy's old ballet shoes for $7.50. That'll help pay for the next pair of shoes she needs because she goes through dance shoes like water. And because she's so little, you know, she's growing fast and everything. And so she goes through dance shoes like water because she's growing so fast. So I resell them to try to at least make up a little bit of the money I'm going to be spending on the next pair of shoes. I'm um, just being a little frugal, more frugal than I used to be. In the past, I probably would have donated them or thrown them out. Um, this way, some other little girl gets to wear them for six weeks. Because <laughs> that's about all Kennedy ever got. That's about all Kennedy wore that last pair of ballet shoes. No, she wore those a little bit longer than she wore. The tap shoes she wore for like four dance classes. And that was it. So... Yeah, it should be interesting. Um, let's see, what else? This weekend, we have nothing going on. So, I have planned... Um, Saturday morning, I'm going to go on a listing binge and work on the death pile in the family room. Get that listed and get it downstairs. It looks worse than what it is because some of the Avon stuff is like cases. So it's a case of all one thing. So I do one listing for a quantity of whatever's in the case and I'm done. I just got to do it. Um, so that that's some of the stuff. And then some of the stuff is electronic stuff. Jerry already has that those tested. Um, the reason I kind of stall on that kind of stuff all the time is because... He, he's got them tested and I do the listing and everything but then um, 
when I list the big electronic stuff, I package it up right away. And I know I'm kind of putting myself up for if I have a question or something, but I don't get questions on those things a lot. So I don't really, maybe it's because my prices are too high. I don't know yet, but I really don't get a lot of questions on those things. So once I package them up, it's done. And because, you know, on a weekday morning, I don't have all the time in the world when I wake up at 5, 5.30 to get my shipping done. It's nice just to be able to grab that big stuff and slap a shipping label on it and I'm done. Um, so I've got some of those and the reason I stall on those is because, and see that's the other thing, um, because I hate doing the packaging on them. I know, why do I buy it if I hate doing it? But because there's good money in it. Um, because, and hate is such a strong word. Because I dislike packaging them up and getting them ready to go, I kind of stall and do those. So maybe if I get at least one of those items done, that would be cool. And then I also have a Yamaha keyboard that I've been sitting on that we tested a while ago. Um, that I have just, it's just been sitting there. And I think that's because I've been delaying the shipping um, or been delaying on getting the shipping done. However, I need to get it listed and then I can, that one we're actually going to have professionally boxed up. I'm going to take it to the UPS store, pay them to box it up and then bring it back home. And we'll just add that into our handling fee on the listing. And even if I, you know, lose a little bit of money on the shipping, this keyboard, when I looked it up, when I was pricing out the auction stuff, I think I maybe have 15 to $20 into it. And this keyboard sells for up to $300 on eBay. So, you know, if I lose a little bit on shipping, I am desperately definitely still going to make money on the entire deal. However, if I don't get it listed, I'm not going to make anything on it. So i got to get it listed. So if I take care of some of that big stuff this weekend, my I will feel very accomplished. And then what we're going to do is Sunday, um, Kennedy said she wanted to go to the trampoline place. So I thought I'd take a drive down to Appleton, go to the trampoline place, and then maybe do a little retail arbitrage for eBay slash Amazon at um, a couple of my favorite retail stores. I might hit up Ross. Um, I don't know. I might go thrifting. So yes, I'll be rid of my death pile, but I will be buying more stuff. However, I just feel, I know there's a lot of good stuff out there right now, and I feel if I don't buy anything, I'm leaving some money on the table as well. So as long as I'm kind of picky, or if I know I'm going to get stuff that turns, I probably won't drive down to Oshkosh to go to Ross. I'll probably go to the Green Bay one, and I might hit up, I had heard a rumor that Marshalls and TJ Maxx also have a sale going on, and plus we have a Burlington Coat Factory. I might hit them up as well. I don't know. There's only so many times, it, time and so much time in the day, and a three-year-old only has so much of an attention span. But you know, if I take her to one or two stores, and then take her home to take a nap, and then go back out again, um, usually that works out pretty well. So. Well, I am going to let you go because I am almost to the place of employment. Um, so anyways, if you guys have any questions, please feel free to leave a comment. I will try to answer your questions in a video. I obviously, I don't have a lot of watchers or subscribers yet, so I should be able to remember one or two questions every morning. Um, otherwise... Don't be afraid to hit the thumbs up if you like what I'm doing, and comment, subscribe, and I'll talk to you later. Bye!